Warning. The following show is a lot milkier than we usually make it. To be honest, I might just pour the whole thing away and start again. Anyone got a spare tea bag? Right. I'm okay. ready to go. Okay, I'm recording again. All right. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> right, everyone, welcome back to... Oh, wait, sorry, I'll start again since that's still broken. <laughs> that's cunt. Johnny's camera's beast. Okay, I'm fine. It won't last. Small knife, won't last. Yeah. <laughs> this guy. All right, everyone, welcome back to another Adventure Bastards. Uh, the last adventure ended heroically and tragically as we lost... We lost one of our old standing members, Kinreal, leaving only Trent of the original crew. That was, uh, I guess, uh, tw we're getting towards the. Uh, that was probably about about October time into it, um, in October when that last adventure happened. It's actually been a few months now have passed since then, uh, so we're now in um, the, the sort of early January um, uh, 1926. So a bit of time has passed since the last adventure. You guys have had a bit of time to get over the loss of um, Kenriel and uh, Cheryl after spending some weeks in hospital is back to work. You know, she had a bit of, she had a little bit of trauma to deal with. And you guys are, so who, who have we got left? Who's, um, everyone want to say who they are and who's still around? Well, Trent Wood's still here, going strong. <laughs> Desmond Wilbank doing the dirty on Kenriel. <laughs> and... I, I should be a hero for that. <laughs> And we got our oh, last oh. and our new member, Jimmy. So and so over the last few months, um, Jimmy has been hanging around with the investigation team because Jimmy, as he as he told you guys last time, he's very interested in the occult and is essentially like he didn't think of himself as a private detective, but was certainly interested in investigating the kind of things that you guys are into. So he's sort of been a hanger on and a you know a good moral support in uh, since the loss uh, of. Kim after Rill. he saw after he saw the events that went down that day, I think it would be a, a in in the. In our uh, best interest to keep him close. So yeah, he's been close to you guys for the past <laughs> few months, um, and so things have you know you guys have just been sort of dealing, and there's been various adventures and stuff, and maybe one day we'll do flashback adventures to cover <laughs> them. <laughs> but um, but today we're going to start on something new, and so um, as as most of these adventures start, we we get you guys get a phone call. Um, so, Wait, uh, Perrin, Perrin, hmm? Perrin, is my sanity back up? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, no, no, actually, leave your sanity alone. Um, sanity doesn't recover that easily. The only thing I'm going to add is, will, will, will I just give my will to someone to read out? Oh, oh yeah, actually, sorry, yeah, sorry. I, good call, I forgot about that stuff. Um, so I read it out. Trent no, will do it. So we do have, um, we have wills to deal with. I'll give it, um, I'll give it to you in scope. So, um... Uh, oh, oh, I'll message you, Panda. <laughs> so, what's going Am I, am I going to... Tell tell my my colleagues. Okay, of, um... you, you, you do yours while um while Johnny messages me um uh, Zavs. All right, we the gr the grieving periods over, guys. We need to I'm get. I'm still sad. To... Of course, we're I've all got blood sad. on me hands. We've got some important things to cover today that are gonna decide what happens with the agency next. So, Kinreal, we've got his will here. We're gonna go through this. Um, Kinreal has left the detective agency lease to me. He's left his car to me and seven hundred dollars. To you as well? All to you. This is all to me. This is all to me. So I'm I'm now the boss here. I, I run I run the agency now. Um <laughs> To Cheryl. Is Cheryl here, Perrin? Yeah, she Cheryl's here. Cheryl's here, yeah. Cheryl? Well, no, He's sorry. Left... I mean, bear in mind, this is months have passed, so this is more recounting what's happened rather than telling everyone for the first time. I thought it was a case of like we hadn't sort of sorted so out. We've just been delivered. We were we were right, okay. Yeah, we can do that. We can do it that yeah. way. We can do it. It's only just been delivered. Fine. So to Cheryl, he has um, left. He's paid for two semesters of university training for you. So we know you've been saving up for that, and that's why you originally started working this job. I think. So Cheryl, so. Cheryl's super thankful, but she's like, well, 
That's that's really generous of him, but that sadly that doesn't get me out of out of your hair just yet because I'm going to need a few more semesters than that. So well, that's why you were talking about semesters when I first joined the call. Uh, there yeah, wasn't yeah. anybody <laughs> gone, do you? <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did, you did you not realise? <laughs> right. Oh, so, okay. So carrying on, Desmond, you're on here. He's left you his collection of shotgun shells and two hundred dollars. <laughs> Beast. And um, he's left. So well, this last bit doesn't. Um, I don't know if I should be divulging the information at the end of it. It's left to someone who isn't with us at the moment. It's a. It's a friend of. Um, you can. You can uh, stick to that for now. You can, you can hold on for that now. It's his uncle. It's his left something to his uncle, but we'll we'll cover that later. Yeah, we'll cover that later. And um, so as well, Trent will be um, myself. Will be. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'll be remaining here. No, no, instead. you know you, that doesn't matter yet. Don't worry about that yet. We'll come to that. We'll, 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 that we'll come to that. Okay. Um, so I don't get anything. Wow, what a chip. You're a fucking what about DM. Shaf Coom? What about Jimmy? Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Voice from the sky. <laughs> what, nothing from me? <laughs> but if you think about it, I just met Jimmy. I don't have time to put him in the will. True, true. Just, just do it, Desmond, while fucking writing him. <laughs> um, so, uh, Zav, what did you leave, What did you do with the... Zav? Um, Zav well, what, what did Zav do? What was his will? <laughs> his will, right. Can, has he, have, you got, have you written a will? Has, have we got Zav's will here, Cheryl? Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm improvising. Come on. It's uh, it's uh, it's just left to uh, the, to Trent and the organization. So what? What's left? What just is... money and his possessions. Yeah, money and. Uh, well, we'll, money. we'll we'll worry about what that is later, and uh, I'm sure Cheryl can write us a list of what what was actually left by Zav. Right. But yeah, he, he basically left everything to myself and the agency. Ooh, I got All right. Okay. Right, so wills having been dealt with, uh, we back to back to back to the current day, and and like it's been a quiet period. It's like you had a you had a busy period of um of weird occult stuff happening over Christmas, but that's passed now, and um, January's hit, and it's been a quiet patch for a couple of weeks, and then you get a phone call, um, which Cheryl answers and says it's uh, Elias yet again. You haven't heard from him in a while, but usually it's it's not been good news every time you've heard from him. Elias, is this Zab's mate? Yeah, it was after me. Yeah, you've spoken to him a few times. Uh, yeah, I remember. I can't remember why I used to say Am I talking to him or is Cheryl talking to you? It's up to you. What's the... You're the like, boss. Cheryl's on the phone yeah. with him right now, but she's asking for, he's asking for one of you guys. And you're the All only right. one who really knows him. So. Yeah, pass him over. Pass him over, Cheryl. Hello. Hi, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Jackson Elias. It's been a while. I mean, uh, how, how are you guys doing? Uh, we're okay. We've just uh, had to go through the grim business of going through Kinreel's... Um, Will it's uh, around. deadly, but, yeah. deadly business. What you guys, you know, what you guys are dealing with. I, you have my greatest sympathy. I know, I know, it's, I know, you've lost a lot of, pe a lot of good people, but uh, that happens in this line of work. And, you know, I know that for sure. Well, it's it's beyond m about making money now, isn't it? Well, yes. I mean, yes and no. But I, I, I need, I need your help, guys. I need your help. I need. Okay. The, uh, the... Do you guys hear? Oh shit! This is something else. This um, this problem with Johnny being late. Johnny, did you? Did you have a chance to look at the clipping? It doesn't matter, actually. Don't worry. The rest of the guys did, so it doesn't matter. He can uh, just be oblivious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. G Jimmy's a bit of an odd one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit of an odd one. From I, was, I, was the other, I was in the other room practicing. <laughs> Sorry. You got, have you guys heard, of the, uh, heard about the Carlisle ex expedition? To be fair... I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Any I guys? Have this expedition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's fill, fill me in. Um, rich guy... Uh, playboy, kind of loads of money, goes to an exhibition. Not Expe an exhibition. Ex exhibition. <laughs> expedition. <laughs> <show>. expedition. Uh, <laughs> oh, is this the uh, guy in Egypt? In Egypt, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, basically, he was uh, his his body's missing, and um, he was uh, brutally murdered and possibly tortured by some savages. How do they know? How do they know if his body's missing? Because the savages have come clean, but they won't. Um, Not that savage ghost. then. Kind of civilized. Well, the savage come and claim. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Tell where the body is. But carry on. Uh, 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 I, always, I always have trouble pronouncing your name, mate. 
look, um, something something's come up, something important. This is a, this could make us all very very rich. Look, I mean, I've written mm. some I've written some successful books in my time, but the Carlisle expedition has been a mystery for many years, and I, I was always convinced think the uh, the the court's read on this was wrong. But I, I need a, I need a team. I need you guys. I know you've had some losses, but you're the best people for the job. Are, are, are you up for the challenge? Yes, I guess. <laughs> what's uh, what, look, um, look, what's in it for us, basically? I look, I mean, I, I can't talk about it over the phone. This is uh, this is too important. Just send them, um, send your best men to New New York, like like immediately. I need to see them. I need come here. Meet me at my hotel. Okay, where where's your hotel? Oh shit! Where is the hotel? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you don't even know where you are. It did. You've been you drink that. You've been drinking, buddy. All right, the Chelsea um, room four ten at the Chelsea. All right. Okay, I'll write it down. I'll send. Uh, I'll send the guys over. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. Get get here quickly. This is important. This um. This could be the biggest uh. Biggest find of the century. Mm, mm. I need to make a couple phone calls and then I'll get them on their way. Okay. Brilliant. Brilliant. And he's very relieved. And that's it. And he hangs up. Hmm. Cool. Cool. So boys, I got. We got work. You got it's work, boys. Yeah. It's been rough, but I'm gonna chuck on. It's good money. So we've got to go to New York, though. How, New how long will that take? <laughs> Yo. Uh, where are we? We're in Boston. Boston. It's going to take a few hours. Okay. Can we drive? Or... Uh, you, well, you're gonna really probably going think... to take train, really. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's not that far away. A couple of hours by train, I think. Road trip. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should head, I suppose. Jimmy's excitable. What time yeah. of day is it? Do we have, like, is it morning or... Let me check my watch. Baron. Hold on Baron. a second. What? At the turn of the... What? It's what morning, time? like most of these things. Uh, <laughs> 9, 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> what time's the train, Trent? <laughs> I'm booked it, so I don't know. I uh, will just turn up on the... Carl, can you just check your Skype? Sure. Ooh, picture of a train. That's what you travel with. <laughs> T Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Okay, right. So, I'm going to make a couple phone calls and book this train for you guys. We're going to sort somewhere for you to stay. Um, and you guys are going to be carrying something for Kinreel, part of his oh. will. I mentioned his uncle. His uncle is in New York. Mm -hmm. You're going to be stay I think you're going to be staying with him, but you're definitely going to be seeing him at least. Um, are you, you sound like you're not coming, Trent. No, nope. i got to stay here, guys. You, we, need, we need the iron fist. Yes, mate. <laughs> yeah, mate. You were there last time. You heard what the, you heard what was said. They're out to get me. They are. They want me. And the only way that this is going to carry on is if I stay here, hold down the fort, and uh, we'll, we'll we're going to find people to um, work with you guys. We're going to increase the size of the team, but I can't be out and about with you guys anymore. It's too dangerous for me. So you're like Nick Fury. I understand. Yes, I'm exactly like Nick Fury. I have no idea who that is because it's the <laughs> 1920s, but yes, I'm exactly like <laughs> I thought he was serious when he said he didn't know who it was. I like, what? <laughs> but uh, I understand, Trent. It's, oh, it's it was scary last time. I didn't want to have to do what I did, but I don't no, have to shoot you. you. did the right thing. I was upset at you for a while, but no, you did the right thing. But I'm going to... From now on, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be the boss, and I'm going to sort everything out for you guys. I'm going to run the place. Me and Cheryl are going to stick around here. And uh, if you need anything, if you need money, equipment, give me a shout. Oh, awesome. And what's uh, Kenryl's uncle called? Uh, his name is Ross Banner. Uh, he is... <laughs> <laughs> what's so funny, Jimmy? Not... <laughs> it's just... It's funny, Ross Banner, I, I like it. Oh, okay. Ross Banner. Banner. Just... It sounds like some sort of superhero, doesn't he? Um, he's um, he's an ex-policeman, about 30 years old, 31 years old, I think. I've only met him briefly a couple of times before. Um, but yeah, he's his uncle, and uh, he's obviously got some important stuff to, to go over, so um, I'll be briefing over. You've got to deliver some stuff for him, and I'm sure he'll 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 talk about what, what the importance of these items with you. And, uh, a friend of Kinreal is a friend of mine. Exactly. Does, does exactly. he know that I killed Kinreal? <laughs> <laughs> does he know that? Um, you uh, I, this guy's a cop. Is that even public knowledge? Like, this, this, 
that we don't really go around talking, telling people that yes, some you had to shotgun Kinreal down because to close a fucking portal. He died <laughs> in an accident. Okay, it was an accident, and the details of it are up to the police, not us. Right. I, okay. said, I, said I, I just want to be sure. Body in the portal, but none of you listen. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like <laughs> throws it in. Okay, so um. I, uh, what time? I'm gonna check what time this train is gonna be for you guys. They're, they're, running, they're, they're running all day. I mean, like they could just go down to the train station. Oh, uh, just head on down, boys. Let's go, Jimmy. I'm gonna pack. Uh, Let me just take care, Trent. Take yep. care, Cheryl. See you in a bit, guys. So I guess we're there. <laughs> no, you York. Well, hit the trains. No, there's like a montage. There's like you know a map and like an Indiana Jones line, and there's like. I, 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 I wave you off at the station. <laughs> Got Godspeed, like, do, 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 do. And there's your, like, on, as you... Des, let's go I'm to the front. Fucking a hug, Desmond. Come back safe. Yeah, and you guys, you guys, you guys go up front, like you guys go up to the front of the train, like um, like seen at a Titanic, you know, where you're like. <laughs> well, we're on the front of the train. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous yeah. out there, but. If I had a fan, you know, I'd do the hair blowing. Ice cream. <laughs> Who who's got the ice cream? Which place? The train. The... Oh. It's on the train. Ow. Um, so anyway, so it's a few hours later. Um, I mean, the train trip's pretty uneventful. It's um, you as you arrive, um, the, bo the Boston Boston was kind of like sort of drab weather, but New York's actually kind of been hit by snow, and so everything's kind of coated in white. Um, it's a chilly day. Yeah, you should have probably bought a jacket. Um, I always have a big coat anyway, because that's where the shotgun's in. <laughs> Fair enough. Desmond's bad. always prepared. I'm a bad ass. So as you get off the train, two gentlemen in their early thirties uh, 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 sort of approach you two as you get off. Hello there. Hello. Hello. You must be the investigators I've been told all about. You see this, Frank? Aye, oh, these guys. Just gonna these ask guys the characters. Uh, sorry, my name's Ross Banner. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm Frank. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Oh, what's, hi. What's, what's funny? What's I funny, just guys? What a on. funny surname. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm I'm Frank Johnson. Okay, I can see if not Frank that funny. <laughs> you you you're Kinreal's uncle. That is me. Yes. It's nice to meet you. It's good to meet you too. I've heard a lot about what you've been doing. And, and how is Frank? How do you know Frank here? Is he? Oh, so we we go back, Frank. Yeah, we're just buddies, man. Hmm. So, so what's the order of business? What, what, what's going on here? Well, uh, Trent phoned ahead and said that you were wanting to meet me. We've got. A and also that uh, I offered that you could stay around at my place for the time being. You were staying in New York if need be. Yeah, cheers. Hey, Ross, don't forget about the the will, man. That's what we're here for. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a package for you, apparently, or something, of Kinreels for you. Yeah, Trent mentioned he left me something in the wrong. I have no idea. What? You're a little quiet, Johnny, by the way. Can you put the microphone huh? slightly close to your mouth? You're just a little quiet. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Do you want to know where that head's at? I can hear him breathing. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, well, um, I'll, I'll hand it straight over. I mean, providing you are Ross Banner. Can you <laughs> Do I need ID? to give you ID? <laughs> No, no, I, yeah. I, I'm, a I'm, sure, I'm sure it's you. Yeah, I'll, I'll hand it over, I suppose. Okay. I'll open it. Oh, a lighter. Oh, that's snazzy. What do you smoke? No. Oh. <laughs> so what's he left here, if you don't mind? It's uh, a lighter that my wife gave him. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I guess you are his uncle after all, so makes sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, do you know where this um, hotel is? I mean, I, I appreciate being. You able guys to are take... pretty yeah. super sensitive here. It's like having a moment with this lighter, and you're like, "So you know where the hotel is?" An <laughs> <laughs> awkward Desmond's like, "Uh." I was just about to get off the train journey. Yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he's off to, guys? Well, first of all, what, what are your names? Who are you? Who, who oh, are? Yeah. Come on, give us your names. We can brush Jimmy. Jimmy. Shafakum. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's an interesting yeah. second name. Yeah, it's uh, it's exotic. What is it? Yeah, where are you from? From the Aztecs? I, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, it's a long story. It's, it, there's uh, elements of amnesia, so. Oh. 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 That's it's, interesting. Yeah, it's a weird thing to bring up in a first conversation, but you know. I'm, if you don't know where you're from, it's I'm probably a, not I'm that weird open. to try and explain. I have no idea, but. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm an open book. 
<laughs> and you, mate? Oh, I'm Desmond Wilbank. Desmond Wilbank. All right, cool, cool guys. Do you, do you know why he would give you that lighter? If you don't mind me asking. Who else so would he give Not it? Really? No, no. <laughs> I don't think so. Can you describe the lighter to us? <laughs> or can you just show it to us? <laughs> do you have to say? It's, it's, can you write it's, down what it says? <laughs> it's it's a, some sort of customized golden lighter. Ooh. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty snazzy. Best you get a st uh, and the speaker, I guess you better start smoking. <laughs> I don't think so. Or burning things. I've told him plenty of times smoking is bad for you. <laughs> don't, well, we, we've got, I mean, I appreciate letting us stay, but we, we've really got to get some stuff done. It's, it's urgent. We've got a, a guy on our backs to get this looked at. Right, well, we, we, can, to, we can we help show you around if need be, guys. Mm. Where, are we, where are we staying, Ross? Cough, Baron. What? <laughs> you stay at my place? <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. Cool. Well, how about we 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 go to the? You can show us where the hotel is. We can meet our our. It's not Jackson Elias. Hey, I don't know if Jackson Elias being from these parts. Uh. Sorry, Ross. What? Mm. Of Eli of some <laughs> Elias. Oh. Well, they heard of him. Is the question there? Okay. Yeah, they All would right. have. They would have done. Everyone would have heard of Jackson Elias. His, his books are pretty well. He's known. an author. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I've read. I've read all his books. Fantastic writer. You guys, that, that a fat guy, right? Mm. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's more known for cult stuff, but that's fine. Mm. Oh, then yes. no, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll 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 go to the hotel. We'll meet him, and then we could have a drink and uh, get to know each other. Sounds good. Sounds hotel good. You, you're after, guys. Uh, room four one zero. What hotel are you after? Room four one zero. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, Jimmy, we've lost Perrin. We've yeah. Lost Perrin. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, it's mysterious. Hello. You've got this horrible picture of me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> What's the name of the hotel? hotel Perrin? The Chelsea. The Chelsea. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah, it's over place. Chelsea. So, oh, yeah. I mean, Not bad come place. along with us, because yeah, I mean, you seem like top blokes. I'll show you where it is if you don't know where. Yeah, come we on. don't. If right. you're staying, at, if you're staying at us, we'll have to come along. Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. Let's go then. Have a night on the town. How are you go guys places. getting there, by the way? Uh, uh, we don't know how far it is. Taxi. New. We're in New York. Yeah, there's, there's subways, taxis. Um, you know. Taxi. Subway would be cool. I've never travelled on the subway. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna eat a thing. Right, okay, subway. Fine. These guys. <laughs> these guys want to see the the dirty subway. The arse end of New York. New York. <laughs> you go down. You take the subway. It's um. It's night. It was, considering the weather up top, the subway is obviously quite a contrast because as well it's like freezing cold upstairs. Like it's very hot and sweaty on the subway. Very slightly grim for um. You know, gentlemen of your stature, but uh, you, you appreciate the warmth at least. Uh, to take you like a little, take like you know, twenty thirty minutes to get across town to um, the Chelsea Hotel. Um, and you head inside, and it, I, well, sorry, I assume you head inside, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's straight up to the receptionist. Uh, yes. And so you go inside, and it's a um, sort of a, I don't know, it's like a, it's not like a, not like the most grand hotel ever, but not like it's like a three star. You know, it's like it's pretty nice. They've got the facilities. It's not it's not like a dive, but it's not also like palatial or anything like that. We'll is there any like a desk or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a front desk. There's a receptionist there. Uh, hello. Hello. How can I help you? Hi. Can you um call room four zero one? I believe. Four one zero. Or or that. Or with the the Trent Wood Company. We're we're expected. Yes. Uh, he says yes. Yeah, sure. One moment, and um, the uh, the uh, young man uh, picks up the phone, rings four ten, and says, uh, "Oh, that's strange. There's no answer." Oh. Mm. Okay, uh, do you know if it... Did you, you guys arrange a time to meet him, or did you just say he'd turn up? He no, he'd be here. Yeah, he uh, said it was uh, he, urgent. So. He I might mean, just be out for lunch or some shit. I mean, he he could be in his room. I mean, uh, I mean, so you know, he might not be. He might not be able to answer the phone if he's in the you know the bathroom or something. We just okay to go and check. Oh uh, yeah, you feel fr feel free. Like you know, obviously, if he's not there, you won't be able to get in anyway. So let's just go hey, knock for him. Hey, Desmond, knock for him. Desmond, I think mm -hmm. he's I think he's dead. Don't say that. Yeah, what'd you guys say? Uh, do I? We'll, we'll go. <laughs> right, I, I, we'll go up to the room and see what. So you head up. Um, you're on the. You, you, I take, you take the elevator. I assume you're not going to. You're not. You're not stairs type guys, are you? Nah. So you head up onto the uh, fourth floor, and uh, that you walk along. Four ten. You're at the door to four ten. Knock knock. 
There knock, is... knock, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> there is no reply to your knocking. Well, this has been a waste of time. Can I listen in, see if I can hear anything? Uh, you, do you want to give me a roll on that? Yeah. First roll of the day, make it a good one. Boom! <laughs> sure listen skill. I can hear everything. In the hotel. Oh, uh, yes, you just... Can you scratch my ass? Like, yeah, I can hear like <laughs> like there's people in like Alaska getting like in a bus. Yeah, you can hear people pissing in the rooms over. Tinkle, tinkle, uh, tinkle. <laughs> like tinkle. Professor Xavier, those voices. <laughs> Get out of my head, Charles. You hear um, you hear some shuffling behind the door, but 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 you so you hear some kind of movement, but that's it. Can we try the door? It's locked. Yeah. Uh, Time to pick. Do you mind if we do this, Bear Ross? I know you're a policeman. Not in a moment. an ex policeman, mate. Oh, maybe that's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> when that, we don't have time right now. I'm a bit anxious. Hey, I, you, I kinda... do you have any skills to like get us in? I have a law skill. Should we break... shout, Elias? <laughs> Breaking through it. Yeah, no, but if we, if we shout. If you, if you know how to pick the door, go ahead and pick the door, mate. I'll, I'll pick. Actually, I'm going to shout, Elias. Which... Yeah, but it, 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 it could be someone shady. But um, we can't always assume that. You've already knocked on the okay, door. Let's, yeah, go on then, go on then. Elias! There's no, there's no reply. Okay, I'll lockpick. These guys are nuts. <laughs> you know, you know. really, I would have assumed someone from the hotel would have come up with us, but, you know. They wouldn't just let us in, though, would they? Exactly, that's why I would think that they'd come up with us, you know. What, and then when no one responds, they're like, better let them in. Yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> Anyway, you 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 fail the lock pick. Um, you can't you break you... the lock, and you can never open it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't quite break the you didn't break the lock this time, but you didn't um, but you couldn't um, you couldn't successfully get it. You know. Mm. Can I, I try think... and intimidate the door to open? Yeah, you can give it a go. You're going to give me a roll. Let me in, door. Why not? Click. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Sorry. No. What are you doing? I'm intimidating, intimidating the, the door. door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you fucking daft door. Yeah, um, the door is like I don't, I don't, the, the door is like amnesia. whatever. The door is like so non. The door stands fast. <laughs> the door is so indifferent <laughs> to you right now. Can I, can I force the the roll on the lockpick? Yeah, if I mean if you can justify it, why would you be able to? I mean, I would just want to really try again. Just, no, no. Just try again. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, um, the thing is, push rolls like having another go. You've got to justify it, like in context of the story. You can't, just, you can't just keep. You he can't just keep out, rolling he it. He gets you know? out his master lock pick. Oh, your, what, your first lock pick broke, mate. Just it, I've got, I've got. I've a got a thing. few here. No, no, you didn't break. That didn't break. You just couldn't. You just couldn't. You you spent a, you spent a bit of time and you just couldn't get the thing. All right, I, I'll not force it because if I if I'm good and I feel like I can't do it this time, um, is it a bit much to kick the door in? And that that's why you guys need to get right, into the room. Right, two strangers, I'd probably... Okay, I'm gonna run downstairs and, uh... Okay. I'll ask the, the man. No, just right. Say, if, just say if, we heard a scream right. from yeah, his room. Yeah, 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 we heard a scream. Guys, guys yeah. if you hear noises, man, he's not answering. He could be having a fucking heart attack or something. Yeah, exactly. Tell the fucking... Yeah, we should just, yeah. 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 Run down so you heard a scream, uh, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, the... Well, you guys do that. I'm gonna go to the toilet. Okay. okay. So, you, so you head <laughs> back downstairs? Yes, um, we've knocked on his door and we can hear, uh, like, something in there, but he's not answering and we're worried that, you know, he, he could be in trouble or having some health issues. Would you is, be able to is, if he's have a look a, for is, us? Has he got a history of health problems? I mean, we're, you know, it's unusual for, we don't, we don't usually go into people's rooms unless, the, unless there is some... Well, when he, when he called us, he, he, he seemed very, uh, desperate to see us, like he needed our help for something, so... He's got an, a track record of heart attack in his family. That's why we're, we're with this doctor here, Dr. Banner. So that's it's a, a consultation. Okay, well, I'll accept that, but you didn't go downstairs, by the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> Shouting down the corridor. What I missed? He's got a history of medical, of medical issues. <laughs> and that's why I came with that Dr. Banner who's upstairs at the moment. Oh, okay. If it's if it's if you think it's serious, I'll I'll come up with you and we'll have a look. But if he's not in there, we'll have a look inside. But if he's not in there, I can't let you in the room. You understand? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Sure. That's yeah, fine. No, I just want you to have a look. I just rather you know be sure. Oh, okay, okay. So the um, the uh, the receptionist grabs grabs the sort of master key and comes up with you, and he oh he gets the floor, meets you guys, um, 
he, before he does, he like knocks on the door to just double check to see if there's any reply. He doesn't want to like disturb a, a guest if there's um, if the if they're going to answer on their own. When he doesn't, he opens the door and I'm sorry, I need to check. I hope he's not hanging there. <laughs> Elias. Right. So as you open the door, um, as you open the door. You see a you see a trail of blood coming out of the bathroom. You see the window open, and you see you see a, a, a guy just climbing out of the window. Halt! Onto the fire <laughs> escape. He does not halt. <laughs> Tackle the cunt. Do we have? Yeah, Johnny's quick. Uh, Jimmy's quick. I am kind of quick. Yes. Can I run and grab his leg or something? Yeah, yeah, you can give me, um, if you want to give He's me... He's fucking some... launched a throwing knife at his ankle. Uh, I was thinking about that, but then he might fall out the window. <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, maneuvers, isn't it? What's that? I mean, it's, um... Thingy. Well, I just throw a knife well, it's and it based off your brawl, and skill. It's brawl no, just isn't tackling. it? Just tackling someone, surely that's not... No, there's a, yeah, there's a, there's a system in the game based on if you're trying to do something physical that's not a combat thing. It's yeah, but usually on... these are really demanding roles. Well, well yeah, they're they just they're based off your brawl. So let's do, ah, it's a 25% okay. roll, basically. Fair enough. Oh. Uh, you so, just so you all. Actually, I should roll his as well. But uh, what's his? Uh, so yeah, it's, a, it's sort of a um, stalemate there. You go, you go to grab the guy, and he sort of like you both just sort of neither of you are particularly stronger than the other, and you just sort of end up separating. And um, you're so you're sort of grabbing him as he's leaning out, as he's like trying to get out of the window onto the fire escape, and you can see that he's not alone. You specifically can see that he's not alone. Like there's um, um two other two other people also dressed in like um these sort of robes climbing down the fire escape as well. Oh, these fucking robes. Yeah. There's how many? Sorry. There's three in total. Three, three total. Um, can I have a can I have a quick look in the bathroom? Make sure because he could still be alive. Probably uh, not. Well, but... well, you, or you could try and hold them up with your shotgun. I could. That's uh. Ah, uh, out it comes. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> so the um the guy the guy at the window kind of sees the shotgun and like ducks his head out of the way. Um, actually, I should roll to check he can pull that off. Yeah. Okay. Easily. Um, so he just ducks out of the way instantly, instantly, just to kind of avoid fire. And he's he's now like with his two friends, starting to make their way down the fire escape. Oh, it's it. little I, stairs. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. chase after them. Oh. I think J Jimmy. Well, you three can chase. I'll I'll hang back and try and see if he's all right. Uh, Elias, if you want. Fucking Ross and Frank are gonna kick into gear now. <laughs> all right. So we'll um we'll deal with um. Names. I can't remember everyone's new names. Desmond. Desmond goes into. I'll deal with Desmond first because he goes into the bathroom, and on the floor you find the body of Jackson Elias. Oh. Uh, um, ben, I was going to say just rename Moss on Skype. Yeah, well I've done that. Everyone's name, like just I've put like Johnny slash Jimmy, Kieran slash Ross, Askew slash Desmond. I'm trying to find this if there's a description of how the body looks. Just dead. Not does dead. It look, does it look dead, dead as a door. He, he, I mean, he's, he's definitely he's definitely not on the alive side of the scale. Oh. 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 Um. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. Actually, as you see him, he's um he's um sort of just he's like spluttering and like the last breaths of life are out of him. Like he's not not like he's not he's he's not dead the second you see him, but like he's, you're talking seconds until he does die, basically. What happened? What uh, <laughs> time to? Are you okay? <laughs> He's basically been stabbed and um, mm -hmm. a little bit like with multiple blades, like there's multiple like obvious blood wounds, and all he can do is sort of blur and like stops and just drops dead. Like at your feet, he dies basically. I p I pull his eyelids down. <laughs> Sweet prince. <laughs> <laughs> then um. I look around. I, I want to see if I can see any clues to anything uh, that may have well, been left. Well, that's that's all you can do because then um, we're going to deal with the other guys for the moment because okay. they were they were chasing right. down. So what are you guys doing? Are you guys going to jump out, climb out onto the um? If you guys are going to climb out onto the fire escape, I need an order really. On the freeway. Ross I'm, first. I'll I'm run out quickest. first. I'm going to I'm going to run down and try and um, beat him. Down. Oh, so you're going to go out down like you're going to you're going to take like the elevator or the stairs down? Are you? Or? Yeah. Yeah, right, I'm gonna run down the fire escape after them. Yeah, I'll follow. I'll follow Ross. Frank oh. and Benny over there. 
<laughs> I think it could have been called. You can, well, you could just roll play nicknames in, yeah. man. Yeah. We created a restaurant chain. So. Although, oh, my climbing's pretty good. I could just, like, parkour down. <laughs> Out the window. <laughs> right. Okay. Assassin's Creed Eagle dive. <laughs> so, you two climb out onto the fire escape, and you find it's an incredibly old, like, rickety, rusty fire escape. Um, one of them's just climbing off the bottom. One of them's already, like, nearly at the bottom, and the other two are getting down. And as um, as you... As Ross gets out, it's fine. But as... Um, fuck, I do need to rename you guys, because I'm not going to remember anyone's name. Frank. As Frank gets out, as Frank gets out, the whole thing starts to give way from the wall. Because it's like... <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. This thing, this thing isn't really meant to carry five people, and... Hey, Oh, right, right. Oh, they're still on it, right? Okay. Yeah, they're still, they're getting, still coming. It's like, it's like an old, it's like, it's never really been used. There's never been a, a serious fire on this side of the thing. This is old and rusted and not very well secured. And um, it actually just sort, starts to slowly sort of collapse downwards as like you guys are, as you guys are moving down it. Um, Shit. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to ride it down? Or, I mean, like, you're, you know, I mean, like, the only one who'd have any chance of getting back in the window would probably be, um, would probably be Frank. But um, I'm going to fucking. Get one leg back in. Grab Ross. Give me. Your, give I'm me just your... gonna fucking run down. Yeah. Can you? Can you? I mean, you give me a roll just to try and grab the. Grab I try and grab you or not? No. I'll hold out my hand. Well, if I'm you get, gonna, if you get off, I'm it, just it's gonna... shout, Ross. I'll just hold out my hand in, in arms and just go, Ross. So like if you, get, if you get, if you get off, it, then it's not gonna fall. Well, can you? Can, can, can... Oh, you never. Uh, Frank, can you well, give me a roll anyway? Stick with this. Can you just give me a roll, Frank? Yep. 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 Fuck! Every time. I'm not seeing these. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, there we go. Uh, no, so basically you don't you you try to you, you try to like grab back at the window, but the thing sort of lunges down a little bit, chunks down a bit, and you miss the window, and like it's like. It's like the whole thing sort of just sort of collapses down. It's not you're not super high. I mean you're on the fourth floor, but like it it, it sort of goes it crashes down slow enough where it's still clinging to the wall that it's painful. But you're like as it crashes down to the thing, but it doesn't. It's like yeah, you're like you're like riding it down, not like instantly plummeting basically. So it's yeah. like so you're not gonna. It's, this isn't like lethal, but this is pretty damaging. Yeah. Um, He's dead inside. So can you give me? <laughs> can, can the pair of you give me one d6 rolls each? Fucking hell, we've hardly Frank and Benny barely dust. fucking started. <laughs> to start the other guys with the rock. <laughs> <laughs> you just jump out the window. Oh, we have to fight. <laughs> what happened? Uh, hospital. So you guys can both um, take five off your. Um... Oh, that is brutal. Tell me about it. You know, I've got four do, health. Do these left. guys were chasing those health as well? Yeah, and that's what I'm just about to work out. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> two, one, one, two more damage. And you're not out. Me if this was it. Nice knowing you, Frank. <laughs> oh. What was your surname again? Johnson. Johnson, Frank Johnson. Johnson. Frank Fetter. <laughs> right. It's just about for all the fucking <laughs> nicknames Trent gave you. So you, so all all five of you, the three cultists and you, you two are sort of in a pile on the in a, amongst um, the wreckage of the um, fire escape on the uh, on, on the ground in the in the back alley, um, and I guess in the time that this is all taken to collapse, uh, fucking hell, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy's um, made it out. I'm going to rename you guys. <laughs> you said to do that, Jesus Christ! How do you rename? It's only three guys? names. Right, right, right click. rename. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do this because otherwise I'm just. Frankie, gonna... Benny, Jimmy, <laughs> Benny. <laughs> Who's Benny? All oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Ross Banner. Yeah. Why is that Benny? Frankie and Benny's. Oh. They're like a little duo. Where Jimmy and Desmond? Oh. <laughs> Jimmy and Desa. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm gonna do this all night. It's because you guys change your name so much. Right. Anyway, so in the time that so the time that this Stop sort, us. <laughs> <laughs> so in the time that this is taken, uh, Jim Jimmy's kind of managed to make it downstairs, and you run around the corner to find everyone in sort of a in sort of a pile. Um, what uh, what are you doing, uh, Desmond? 
Um, I'm looking around for clues. Shitting himself because the fucking because, window. Yeah, just... there's no way I'm I'm going down. I just want to see if I can spot anything of of interest <sighs> in the room. The, before the, I head downstairs. The, the thing, the, 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 there's all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of papers and things, and um, you know, there's, there's definitely like there's, it's, it's it's probably going to be worth the time to go over this material. But oh, maybe, can we come back? Yeah, it's probably not worth doing it while those guys are chasing down um these guys. Okay, I, I'm going to turn to the the receptionist and say I told you he had bad health and then just go streaming <laughs> down the stairs <laughs> running down the stairs outside um, like a little wink from Desmond to the receptionist. 